guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to solve day 26 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so today i am going to solve uh, problem number four one that is a uh, first missing positive and this question is asked in a meta okay and in this problem we have given an unsorted integer array nums and we have to return the smallest positive integer that is not present in nums and we must implement an algorithm that runs in O of n time and uses O of 1 auxiliary space okay so now let's understand this problem uh, with all these examples okay then after that I'm going to uh, prove the approach that I am going to implement using one uh, random uh, random example so I am going to make one uh, new input array so I will show it later on but first understand the examples given in this problem so this is example one and in this uh, example nums array is given to us and these are the elements 1 2 0 okay so we have to find the smallest positive integers and I hope that you guys knows that smallest positive integers are starting from 1 2 and so on right so these are the smallest positive integers okay so this is what we need to find and these uh, positive integers are always greater than this n okay this is the range given to us okay so this is the range for the positive integers that we need to find okay so in this particular example uh, 1 2 0 what is this uh, this see 1 is present we have to ignore this 0 okay 1 is there 2 is there and now 3 is the left out right if uh, now we have to find just return the smallest positive integer so in this array 1 2 is there and 3 is not there okay so we have to just return 3 so the numbers in the range 1 to 1 to 2 or all in the array okay so what is the length length is 3 right length is 3 of this nums array and we have to search for the numbers 1 2 3 so 1 and 2 is there only 3 is not there okay so we have returned this 3 as the output now take this example 3 4 minus 1 1 okay so what is the length of this nums array the length of this nums array is 4 1 2 3 so total these four elements that we need to search okay see in this case uh, 3 is there 4 is there 1 is there and 2 is not there so we have to return 2 okay now let's suppose that uh, all these four numbers are there right uh, let's suppose that this is my nums array and in this nums array all the four numbers are there 1 2 3 and 4 okay then in that case I have to just return n plus 1 because that number is going to be my positive integer so n plus 1 is nothing but 5 okay so because 1 2 3 and 4 everything is there in my nums array from number 1 to n okay in this range so i have to just return n plus 1 in that case okay this is going to be my smallest positive figure and in the example 3 nums nums so what is the length of this uh, nums array is 5 right so i am searching for numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and i have to ignore all these numbers all these numbers i don't need because these numbers are already greater than my n so I don't need to consider these numbers because I am looking for the smallest positive integer right I am looking for the smallest positive integer that is not present in nums so smallest positive integer is 1 only okay so I am just returning nums uh, smallest positive integer as 1 okay so I hope that you guys are clear with these three examples okay so now let's uh, understand this uh, with some complex example so let's create one example here so let's suppose this is my nums array okay and um, these are the different indexes so this is 0th index this is 1 index this is 2 index this is 3rd index this is 4th index this is 5th index this is 6th index this is 7th index this is 8th index okay so now let's fill uh, the elements in the nums array so I am filling here 1 here I have filled 2 here I have filled 3 
here I have filled 4 here I have filled 8 ok I haven't filled uh, 5 right and here I have placed 6 and uh, here I have placed 20 ok and here I have placed minus 10 minus 2 ok these are the numbers that I have placed ok so no let's do one thing here I have placed 0 only let's say I have placed 0 only ok ok so this is my example ok so now in this example uh, what is the total length of my nums total length of my nums is 9 ok so I am searching for numbers 1 to 9 which is the smallest one ok so 1 is there 2 is there 3 is there 4 is there but 5 is not there so 5 is going to be my output in this case right 5 is going to be my output in this case ok so here let me do one thing here let me write the result result is going to be 5 ok so this is what we know right now for this particular example ok so now I am going to explain you approach that I am go going to implement uh, to solve this question ok so first of all I am going to check if there is one present in my nums array so I am going to search in this complete array and look for the value 1 so yes 1 is there ok so I am going to mark this as positive ok that simply means that I have found this one so I am going to uh, take one boolean variable ok in boolean and boolean has 1 is equal to false initially then I am going to look for the value as 1 and then I if I, there is one then I have to just uh, make this value as true yes there is one and if there is no one then in that case we have to simply return one because uh, one is the, our smallest positive integer right so if there is no one in my uh, array so in that case I have to just return the result as one okay but now in this example we have one right so we are good so we have found one okay then after that here in my array I am searching for the values between 1 to 1 to 8 right 1 to 8 that simply means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right because in between these only I have to find the minimum value if all these numbers are there in my array right if all these numbers are there in my array then in that case I have to just return 8 and 9 as well sorry because the length of my nums array is 9 0 is also there na? so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 1 to 9 I am looking for so if all the 9 numbers are there 1 to 9 then in that case I have to simply in that case I have to simply return what n plus 1 so 10 is going to be my output if all the numbers are there but uh, okay so I hope that this is clear so now let's understand let me uh, erase everything here okay so now we have found that 1 is there in our array okay and we are looking for the values from 1 to n 1 to 9 right so what I am going to do here I am going to make since 1 is already there okay so these uh, this minus 10 is out of uh, because we need indexes from 0 to 8 we need values from 1 to 9 only and this minus 10 is out of reach right now right we can't access this negative integer we have to ignore this minus 10 we have to ignore this 20 20 is out of reach right because I am searching for only 1 to 9 only so previously in one example I have told you that we need to ignore these numbers which are uh, greater than our n right and we have to ignore the numbers which are less than 0 right so we have to just ignore those numbers okay so what I am going to do here I am going to make the, I am going to give the values for all these integer as 1 only okay so this minus 10 I am going to make it this minus 10 I am going to make it as 1 only okay so I am going to make it as 1 only so I have to delete this so this 1 only and this 20 I have to make it as 1 only okay I am making everything which is out of reach okay because I am searching from 1 to n and if there are any negative integers or 
if there are any negative integers or zero zero only okay let's let's uh, let's do one thing let's make it as one as well okay so i am going to make this number as one this as one this eight is in between uh, this range and this 20 is not in the range so i am going to change it to one okay so uh, we all set so we have make the changes so now my new array is looking like this one one eight one three one two six four okay so this is done okay so here uh, let's do one thing here so instead of six can i take nine here can i take nine here so let me do one thing let's make it nine okay because i have to show you one thing here so let's take consider this as nine so we can take a nine right we can take a nine because nine is between one two and one to nine right and and nine is the length okay so we can take a nine as well okay so okay so first of all what i'm going to do here if i take a nine here but i don't have the index which is nine okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to subtract this with minus one okay so let's uh, let's start from here only first of all then i will explain okay so i am going to check for the first index initially okay i am going to check for the first index what is the value here okay so here i am taking the value value is going to be my absolute value okay so what is the uh, absolute of this nums of zero okay this is nums of zero only because initially i am starting from i is equal to zero so nums of i am writing here okay what is the result here value is one okay and now index in the index i am going to subtract this value that is nothing but this p with my minus one okay because if nine is there okay if nine is there then it will become eight okay on only in that case i have to um i can modify the index right right so i am going to update because here i have already modified zeros to one as well so we i can do like this so index is equal to v minus one v v is this value so v minus one is zero okay so i am going to make this value this is one right now so i have to make this value as minus one okay so now my this new value becomes minus of one okay so i am going to use black color pencil and this value becomes minus of one okay this value becomes minus one and after that i reach at this particular index okay nums of one value is one so this is one only and one again zero so this is already minus one so i don't need to change this right now okay this is already minus one so i don't need to change it right after that i reach at this particular position 8 8 8 minus 1 8 and 8 minus 1 is 7 so at this 7 position i have to make it negative so now my new value is 7 minus so this is 9 okay then after that my i reaches at this position and this is 1 so 1 minus 0 so i have to change this value to minus 1 okay so this is done now after that my i reaches at this position 3 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so and at two position 8 is there so i have to make it negative so this is done after that my i reaches at this position this is value is 1 and 1 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 so at this position it is already minus 1 so i have to ignore it so my i is going to move forward this is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so at 1 1 is uh, where is 1 1 this is 1 okay so at this position i have to make it negative okay this is done after that my i reaches at this position so i am taking absolute value you are going to say that this is minus 9 so what i am going to do so here i have written absolute so minus 9 is nothing but 9 and 9 minus 1 is 8 so at 8 index i have to make this value as negative okay so this is minus 4 after that my i reaches at this position so 4 Four minus one three. So at this particular three index, I have to make it negative. Okay, I have to make it negative. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so now after that, once this is done, what I'm going to do here, I have to find the. I'm going to run one loop. Okay, and I have to check if this value is positive or negative. So right now this value is negative. This value is negative. Ignore it. Okay, I am going to use uh, this orange color. 
okay this value is negative ignore it 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 now after that you are going to see this value is positive okay if this value is positive then i am i have to return this index plus one okay i have to return the index that is nothing but four plus one so four plus one is going to be my five only right and five is not there in my uh, nums array right and why i am returning five because if five is there then definitely i am going to make that at element as negative see here if four is there if four is there then what i am doing i am taking v as four and after that i am making the index as three and i am making index three as negative okay so same way if five was there then definitely i am going to make that index as negative that index value as negative but i am not able to make this index value as negative okay so that simply means that five is not there okay see here uh, two is, why two is there because i am two v is two then one i go to this one index and i am going to make this value as negative so that is why my two is there but i am not able to make this value as negative so i have to return 4 plus 1 5 right so i hope that you guys are clear with this uh, example okay because here i am just return, checking uh, making the numbers are negative and if any number is positive then definitely i am not able to reach at this particular index and to reach this index uh, every time i am using this v minus 1 so definitely i have to add this value 4 plus 1 5 okay because from v i am coming right so i have to find this v value so v is 5 that is why i am not able to reach at this 4 index that is why i am returning 5 here okay so i hope that you guys are clear with this example and the approach that i am going to take now i am going to write the code so code is going to be very simple for this problem so actually this problem is marked hard because we need to consider all these end test cases like here i am making all the out of range values as one first time going to find one so everything as i am doing right now is that a, okay so my algorithm is using so you're going to use or one auxiliary space only okay okay so now let's write the code so, so first of all uh, let's calculate the length of our nums array so to calculate the length and is called nums dot length and then i have to check for the value one so i boolean has one is equal to false initially then i have to run one loop okay Eva four int i is equal to zero i is less than and i plus plus okay and inside this i am going to check whether one is in the original array or not so if nums of i is equal to 1 then in that case i have to modify this has one as true as 1 is equal to true okay this is done okay so i hope that now it's clear and after that i am going to if uh, if this has one is true okay this is done then after that uh, here i am going to check if not okay let's do one more thing here let's modify the numbers as well okay side by side side by side i am going to modify the out of range values to one only okay side by side so here also i am checking okay so here let's delete this let's make it here and this is one condition this is one condition and after that i'm going to check one more thing okay if if my nums of i is less than equal to zero or nums of i is greater than n okay i am writing the same thing that i have explained right if this is the case then i am just making nums of i is equal to one 
okay so i'm going to do everything side by side here okay in one loop so this is done okay so this is done now after that i am going to check if this one is not there if not as one okay if this one is not there then in that case just return one that's it okay so this is done okay so we have checked for this condition and now after that once this is done then after that i have to mark whether integers one two and are in nums okay and i have to use index as a hash key and negative sign as a present detector okay so let's run one more loop for int i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus and i am going to take a value int value is equal to math dot absolute function and this in this absolute function i am passing the nums of i value okay and uh, after that i am going to get the index so index is nothing but value minus one that i have already explained the co by the during diagrammatically right and then i am to check if my num of nums of index value is negative okay if it is negative that means that i have already visited that index so i have to just mark it as continue i don't need to do anything move forward and otherwise i have to make that number as negative right so i can write it like this nums of index multiply is equal to minus one okay so nums of index is equal to nums of index multiplication with minus one so i have made that number as negative so this is done after that after that we have to find the first positive in nums is the smallest missed missing positive integer so i'm just going to run one more loop for int i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus and then after that if nums of i is positive okay if the number is positive then i have to just return i plus one that's what i have explained right return i plus one here so see here i am returning 4 plus 1 here 5 this is index i plus 1 that's what i am writing so i am writing the same thing right so i hope that you guys are clear and in the index if everything is there then i have to just return n plus 1 that's it code is very simple just 27 lines okay and now i don't say do you guys you guys are going to say that it's hard problem right so let's run it and see if there are any code issues or see so all the test cases has been accepted now let me submit it So our solution is accepted and the runtime is also very good, one millisecond only and it beats 98% of users with Java. So I hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section. Till then keep coding and keep practicing and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like this video and share this video with your colleagues and, and your friends. Meet you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.